everyone welcome back to Tech online today i'm going to take you through how we draw an average line uh, on your trend so we are given data and we are going to plot um the monthly sales on a trend line but how do we present this better to our audience the better way how to present this is always having an average line included what's the purpose of the average line you can easily know the ups and the downs where you went low and where you went high and it becomes easy for you to make decisions so let's do it make sure that you watch this video up to the end and remember to subscribe to subtech online hit that notification bell as we always take you through such information so uh, this is my data I may disregard all the other parameters, but for now I'm focusing on a trend line. So the major parameters I'm going to use fields. This is date and amount. But remember, I want to add an average line. So I'll make sure that I get the average of the full month. So how do we get the average? We shall say equals to average. So for the full month, select the first one, control shift downwards then lock the reference by pressing f4 on your keyboard if you're using mac fn f4 uh, the moment i lock this this is what i get so i will drag this up to the end here we go um i will make sure that i format painter this such that they are the same so now we have our average so what do we do um i will have to first let me show you in case you didn't calculate the average first which means you'll first plot the date and the sales so the moment you select the two you go to insert chart so i'll click on insert chart and here we go uh, most of the cases you may receive this as bar lines so you can always go to uh, setup if you don't have the chart editor how do we get the chart editor the moment you have a chart there are these three dots on the right upper click on them edit chart you'll always receive a pen on the right so go on setup here we have the chart types select any chart type you feel like will suit your data for now ours is this line chart you can go ahead and pick even the area chart like this it is fine it can work for you so for the, this case we shall go with the chart line now uh when you look at the range it is picking e and f which means we are not picking average which means at the moment we can't average why because uh this is my x-axis i have date that's fine and uh this is my y-axis i have ser the series i have sales amount which is that so the two fields are already uh, used so if you want to make sure that each date captures here rather than starting with second um that is second ninth and that's keeping you can always uh tick this check this the aggregate the moment you aggregate it is going to pick all the dates you have so i'll first remove the aggregate for now i don't need it so let's go ahead and add the average how do we add the average we are going to adjust this range how do i adjust the range by just adding changing f to g it is the same range up to ge g28 so i'll change that to g the moment i change that and enter which means average is now part of my series so which means when i come to this i have average here so i can go ahead and add this as my series so the moment i click that you see everything changes so it, there i have just substituted uh, average with sales so i don't want to substitute but i want to add a series how do we add a series select this and select average it automatically adds itself and it defaults it itself with another color that's a red color so it's upon you now to go ahead and edit this the way how you feel like you want it to be so i may not need the legends click and delete so you can adjust the date by double clicking and typing your own date i may not need uh these major grids so i'll click on them and delete 
uh, here it's saying items can't be deleted but if you can delete them you'll have to remove them from here by removing major grid lines so there they are gone so you can go ahead and add other items you can add other data labels uh, on the series you can change the colors of the series but that is going to be something for the next time but otherwise this is how we add an average line on your line chart so guys uh, make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button leave us a comment if this video is helpful to you and we'll meet you in the next video bye bye